Coming up in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can connect your desktop or your laptop to a flat screen TV such as the one you see here. So stay tuned right here on ES Repair. Hello and welcome to another episode by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your laptop or your desktop computer to your flat screen TV as you see behind me. Now, this here is a flat screen plasma TV, and uh, this in here is about a 46 or a 50 inch, I believe. I haven't actually measured it, but as you can see, it's a rather large screen TV. Well, I'm going to show you how to hook up a t uh, desktop. Now, I have my desktop sitting here. You probably can't see it in the video, but you'll see it here momentarily, and I'm going to show you how to connect the computer to these TVs. Now, one of the things that you need to look for is the kind of connections that the TV accepts. Most of them will accept DVIs or HDMIs. HDMI is most commonly used. However, you need to check to see what your computer uses. For instance, if it uses DVI and the TV uses HDMI, you may have to get an adapter, which I will show you in this uh, video. Some TVs, such as this one here, also uses a VGA adapter or a VGA plug, which is a little 15 blue, the blue 15 pin uh, uh, connectors that I've shown in a previous video. So let's get started and I'll show you uh, the steps to take and some of the things that you may need to do on these large TVs because what happens is computers work fine in most cases up to 32 inch TVs. When it gets as large as these, it may have to uh, require some tweaking which I will show you some of the things that you can do. Another thing to keep in mind is you may want to keep a second monitor handy so in case you're working with a big screen you can still see what's going on. Well, let's get started and get this TV hooked up to the computer. Here is the desktop computer. Uh, you probably remember this one. This is one of my uh, earlier ones that I've done uh, several videos on. And what I'm going to do is show you the connectors on the back of the graphics card. Now as you can see the one on the left is a DVI and the one in the center is for S video connections and the right one is the standard PC, uh, VGA adapter or plug that I mentioned earlier. Now some computers or some TVs do have that connector right there. Now this one only has a DVI a plug on it. The TV, which I'm going to show you, has the adapter on. It's got a uh, USB or a HDMI. Let me get out of the thing there. You'll see that the. I apologize for the little the limited light, but you'll see it's got the HDMI plugs in the very back of the TV. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to have to convert 
the DVI into an HDMI. Now, to do that, as we can see here, I've got a uh, DVI. So what I'm going to use is an adapter. Now, this will convert the DVI you see here into HDMI you see here. Now, this one here, when you match it up, you'll notice where the uh, pins go. Now, this one here is the same way. And then when you plug it in, it will convert it to an HDMI cable. Now, you want to make sure it's snug. And again, the HDMI cables are the ones that have the screws on it. So you want to screw these in. Not too tight. You want them snug. Now the next thing to do is to get the HDMI cable and then we can plug it in like so. Get it plugged in now. Now as you can see I can convert a DVI plug into an HDMI cable. Now this will work in either direction. The only difference is between DVI and HDMI is that DVI does not carry audio channels. However, HDMI does. So if you have to use the adapter, keep in mind that you'll have to run a separate audio cable to your speakers or to your TV. Now, I got a better look back here. I slid out the TV. This way I can give you a better idea as to what the back of them looks like. As you can see, I've got the cable already plugged in. Now, most of these TVs will have more than one. And if they do, then you can choose on the screen as to which uh, port you're going to use. Notice here, it's also got a VGA adapter. So if your computer only has a VGA adapter, you can still plug it into your computers or to your TV such as this. Now, once you have everything plugged in, and you got your computer plugged back up, TV's plugged in, ready to go. You've got your cables connected. Now it comes for the fun part. Now, let me go ahead and turn my TV back on. As you can see here, we, the TV is up and running. I've got the cable TV up and running. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to connect this. Now, let me go ahead and turn the computer on. Now, while it's doing that, what I can do... Now, your TV may differ from this one. Uh, I'm going to use my remote control. I'm going to choose as you can see here this is what we're currently on uh, what I need is HDMI 2 this is the one I have the computer plugged into so I'm going to switch down as you can see here it's got the menu for your PC here which you can choose which I'm using HDMI I got the second port that I'm going to use now, as you can see, it pops up. But notice how everything appears to be cut off. Let me go ahead and get it to boot up. Now, once the computer turns on, it's going to use a, de a generic uh, device driver to work with the TV. When it, uh, once Winslow loads, it's going to load a proper driver it's going to detect the type of TV this is, which in this case it's a Samsung. Now it may start a little longer to boot. This is a Windows 7 because when it detects the, the new TV, it's got to load the drivers 
and install the drivers. Now you'll notice up here when it shows up it's going to tell you the channel or the, the port that you're using and the size it's using. Now here comes the screen. Now it's detected that the TV is a high definition TV which is in this case it's a 1080p which is the highest uh, high definition uh, you can use. Now there's no sound because I do not have the sound connected to the TV or to the system. Uh, your system may differ. You can connect it to your TV. The TV has internal speakers or to your entertainment center. Now as you can see here uh, it's going to probably show some lines in it and what we're ha what we're having to do is we're having to make adjustments now because the TV is plasma you're going to see a little bit of lines which is okay uh, I'm not using uh, LCD this is a plasma TV when you're going to connect your computer to your plasma TV want to make sure that you have a screensaver turned on because if you leave your screen like this it's going to uh, plasma screens are bad about burn-ins some TVs do have uh, screen savers built into them uh, this one here uh, as you can see around the edges you can see where it's all cut off you can see around here in the bottom where it's all cut off down here at the bottom this is normal when it comes to HDMI uh, screens so in order to counteract this you may have to do some settings now I'm going to use a TV to uh, make adjustments uh, here we turn a light on uh, here is the menu for my TV now as you can see here it's in mode and I'm using standard what I want oh, wrong one to get over here now the one I want is you can see here some TVs have the pictures often option and this is the one we want we want the pictures option now you can choose your color tone it's showing that it's uh, 16 point uh, 16 and 9 that's for high oh, widescreen high definition you may have to tweak it out a little bit because as you can see we're still cut off here uh, you can choose uh, change the size as you see here you get some options now your TV may be different but this is an idea of what you may have to do to get the screen to your TV or your screen on the TV to fit now what I'm going to do is you can select if you go to wide fit see what happens everything uh, takes off now if you do four to three as you can see we're still cut off on the side here and you get the gray bars on the right now what I'm going to do is use screen fit as you can see now it's brought all the icons onto the sides now everything fits into the screen now if you have to you can use position and what position does is allows you to move the screen to where it would fit once you do that uh, as I see here you can choose a position once you're done uh, you can exit out and now you can set some other options if you need to change the brightness adjust it for noise uh, choose normal as you can see it changes the, the normal uh, the black levels HDMI is for digital now a lot of this is because I'm using a converter this is why you have some of the problems uh, is when you have to use an adapter now once I'm done I can exit out and there you go now your TV is ready to go and you can use your computer on your TV now now I do apologize the lines because it's I'm using the camera and because the TV is using uh, a lower 
uh, frequency is causing the line to show up in the video. But nonetheless, it's going to work. And here I'll show you. Now, let me get my cursor. Now, you can also set the resolution on these TVs. And let me show you. Go to control panel. I'm going to my NVIDIA control panel because that's what my graphics card is. Now, because I'm using 1080 in a high resolution, I can also drop it. If it says native, that means that native is the natural uh, design of the TV or the monitor. That, that's what it can go to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it down to 720. I'm still going to choose 60 Hz. This is the cycles. And I'm going to go down here to the bottom right hand corner and choose apply. Now the screen will change. And then you choose yes. Now look what's happened again. It's starting to cut off the edges because the resolution has changed. So to fix that, we just go back to the TV's monitor. Then go into settings. Then I'm going to go back into picture options and see how it went back to 16 by 9. We go back, choose screen fit, and then return. And now, as you can see, everything's been uh, squeezed back in. Now, if you have to, you can also use. Um, uh, use your control panel and what it will do is allow you to uh, uh, fill it out to where you can choose different images and it's necessary because as you can see up here it shows that I'm using Samsung and you can all this is for scaling so if it doesn't fit exactly right you can choose scaling uh, under size now here, as you can see here, we have to where you can manually set it. So if the menus or the settings on the TV does not work, you can also use the display adapter's um, settings. Now as you can see here, I'm going to get my mouse here. And here I'm going to enable desktop resizing. And then choose resize and this is what it brings up. As you can see your arrows so if you have to adjust it from here to here you can use the minus as you can see here where you can adjust the width. You can also adjust the height to where you can get it to fit your screen. Once you get your screen size set up then you can choose OK and there you go. Now you can see everything from your X to your uh, window start button. Once you're done, then you can choose apply and then your new settings are set up. Now, and there you go. This is how you get your uh, your computer connected to your windows or to your uh, your large screen TV, your flat screen TV as I've shown you it just takes a little tweaking to get your resolution just right to where everything will fit nicely on your screen. Well this concludes this video of by ES Repair. I've shown you how you can connect a computer to your flat screen TV so if you need questions, if you have questions or need assistance, just give us a send us a message or anything. Or if you have any kind of problems, uh, now keep in mind that your TV may be different than what this one was. But please read all the documentation to that TV so you'll know exactly what needs to be set up. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.